Once you're done debugging your code and you know it both compiles and runs successfully for, say, a few time steps or a hundred time steps or so, make sure at this point that you stop using the traceback and check bounds compiler option flags. This is because the traceback and the check bounds flags massively slow down the code. So instead, once you know a code is stable and runs OK, at this point it's a better idea to optimize the code for speed. So after debugging and running maybe some short codes, you can replace the traceback and check bounds with something like dash o3. In other words, for a production code that you already know works well, you can compile your code using something like ifort and then uh, your file.f90, whatever you're calling your code, and then just have dash o3, which is an optimization flag. At this point, the goal is to reproduce the results we got earlier from the MATLAB code, which are shown here. But you want to reproduce it using your Fortran code on the supercomputer. So that is, you want to run the Fortran code on the supercomputer, and then transfer the .dat file to your home computer, and then third, plot the output, uh, probably in MATLAB, since that's what we've been using. And then the goal is to see the same results that you see here that we got from the original MATLAB code. Next time we'll talk about how we can parallelize this code onto two processors.